Okay, problem one, I wanted you to uh, look at the differences between the normal distribution and the t-distribution. The only reason that the t-distribution exists is when you have small sample sizes. When you have large sample sizes, the normal distribution and the t-distribution are practically identical, and you can use the normal distribution. But if let's say you grab a sample and your sample sizes are uh, three or four or, or nine, something that's small, then you don't want to assume normality. Uh, that's why the t-distribution was created. So all we're trying to do is plot the area to the right of two standard deviations. And I got some typos. In the normal distribution, this is correct. The area to the right is 0 0.02275. So this should be 0 0.02, and this is 0. So sorry about that. That caused some confusion. But I want you to plot the area to the right of two standard deviations for the t distribution also. So let's do that in Excel. Here's my sample sizes. Here's the normal distribution. The formula that we used was the norm disk. Now, when we want the area to the right using the normal distribution, the norm disk doesn't give you that. It always gives you the area to the left. So to get the area to the right, you do 1 minus. So there it is, and it's not a function of sample size. It doesn't ask you how much data you have. But when you use the t-distribution, the last argument, the last argument is it asks you the degrees of freedom. Now that changes from problems to problems. I assume the degrees of freedom as my sample size minus one. But I'm getting what the t.dist.rt gives you the area in the right tail. So you don't have to do 1 minus. That's what it gives you already. So the area to the right of two standard deviations, if you only had two data points, is huge. That's the benefit of the t-distribution is that you, it's a wider, it doesn't, uh, it's a weaker test, but it's a more accurate test. Basically, it just says you don't have enough data. So the area to the right of two standard deviations is closer to 15% as opposed to 2% if you assume normality. Now, though, is as your sample gets bigger, you can see that this number starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and it starts, and eventually it's going to not get any close. It's not going to get any smaller than this, but it's going to get really close to it. So as you go down and you get down here to 40, they're almost the same thing. And that's what this, this graph is showing. This is the area to the right for the t-distribution in the red, the normal distribution in the blue, if I would just extend this and go out forever, you can see it's just getting closer and closer and closer, but never, never uh, going to be smaller than the normal distribution. It's getting closer and closer, but, just, but you can see it's practically so. The t-distribution is great for small sample size. For large sample sizes, you can assume normality. Thanks.